Hello there, today we're going to do a nice foolproof, really simple Chinese supper. Um, we're just going to do it with plain boiled rice, um, that's me, I'll show you how to do that. But we've got a few things to do first. So here I've got a couple of breasts of chicken and I'll just cut them in half and then cut them across the grain and there you go. Into that we're going to add one teaspoon of dark soy sauce. Sorry, one tablespoon, Duh. one tablespoon of light soy sauce. The light is for salt, the dark is for colour and flavour. Also, we're going to add a good pinch of Chinese five spice powder. We're going to add half a tablespoon of sesame oil. And we're going to add an eighth of a teaspoon, if that, of bicarbonate of soda. Put too much of this in and it will taste horrible. But this really makes your chicken nice and tender. Okay, so that's less than an eighth of a, a teaspoon. That's all those. I like my food a little spicy. So I'm going to go in with some sriracha. If you don't like spicy, don't put the sriracha. Simple as that. Now to bind it all together and make it like a nice smooth coating, we're going to put in one tablespoon of corn flour. And then we're going to just get busy with our hands. Ah, I've forgotten something. Hang on. We need the ginger and garlic paste. Now this is just 50-50 ginger and garlic, just ground up to a paste with a little bit of water. And all we're doing now, mixing that through, make sure it's really well coated. This needs to go out of the fridge for about half an hour minimum, no more than two hours though, um, because the bicarb changes it quite a lot. Okay, so that's ready now. That's going to go into the fridge for 20 minutes to half an hour. Meanwhile, I've prepped up some vegetables for it. This dish is all about texture, crunch, vibrancy and flavour. Um, so we've got the whites of a bunch of spring onions. We've got one stick of celery. I peeled the stringy bits off and just sliced it. Got one tin of sliced chestnut, um, water chestnut, sorry. Um, these had a beautiful crunch of the dish and makes it feel a little bit more Chinesey. Green pepper, um, just some sliced carrots. I've used the canale cutter on those to make them. Basically, it's one of these little tools, you just run it down, just makes it pretty. Don't need to do it, makes it pretty. I've got some freshly roasted cashew nuts I've just done in the air fryer. Um, that's If you buy the raw cashew nuts, you know the unroasted ones are a lot cheaper. Buy them. Throw them in your air fryer, toilet that colour, loads of flavour, loads of crunch. Um, and then the tops of the spring onions. Also, we've got some more of the ginger and garlic paste. So now to prep the sauce, we're going to put one pint of cold water into a bowl. To that, we're going to add one tablespoon of light soy sauce. We're going to add two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. Don't get that round the wrong way because it will be far too salty and quite horrible. We're also going to add about a half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon of oyster sauce. A bit more of my old friend Sriracha. There we go, nearly there. Now this is where you're going to say stop it, you're being weird, but I'm not. This does work, it's foolproof, it works every time. One heaped tablespoon of custard powder. Okay, I know it sounds weird. 
but this is a really good base it thickens the sauce it gives it a nice depth of flavor it's not the milky custard you're all thinking of okay so there's that and now we're going to add two tablespoons of sugar if i was organized the sugar would have been next to me but i'm not so there you go there we go now that believe it or not is your sauce All we're going to do is just whisk that up gently because the corn flour in the custards kind of settles to the bottom. We're just going to whisk that up a little tiny bit and that's the sauce ready to go. Now that will settle again so before it goes in a pan you're going to need to give it another whisk. Now I'm going to add a little bit of MSG, monosodium glutamate. I know some people are funny about that so if you don't want to add it, don't add it. It does, however, really improve the flavour. Okay, so that's the sauce, apart from we're going to add some more oil, um, sesame oil when it's cooked. So let's put this aside. Now, to show you the rice, very simple. I always like to measure the rice to make sure it's nice and fluffy and you get the right amount that you need. So for me, I use a half cup measure for each person eating. And you need to measure it exactly. So there's two of us, even though we're jolly greedy. So it's two half measures of rice. This is easy cook, large basmati rice. Now we're going to measure out three three half cup measures of cold water do it exactly and it will be perfect every time so it's one two and three We're going to put a pinch of salt in there. Now, if you wanted to add some stock or something, you could if you wanted to. But that's enough. Now we're going to put in a good, sorry, put on a good tight fitting lid. And then we're going to put that on the smallest flame you have. When it comes to the boil, turn it down to a simmer. And when the water's gone, your rice will be perfectly fluffy. Um, don't keep taking the lid off because you'll let the steam out. And when it's cooked, just turn it off and leave it to sit for a few minutes just to steam a bit. And it'll be perfect. Right, now we're going to start cooking the chicken. Right, so to cook the chicken, I'm going to start by cooking the actual chicken. So I'm going to put some coconut oil. You can use normal vegetable oil. I like coconut oil. It adds a nice scent to the dish. It's also a little bit healthier than a lot of the other oils you can use. So we're just going to pop this in. And then let it melt down and get to a decent heat. Okay, we've got our oil nice and warm now. I'm just going to open the back door because I'm going to set the alarm off. Right, so we're going to pop our chicken in. We're going to do it in two batches. We don't want to overload the wok and make it go suddenly horrible. So about half of it in first. And then don't move it about. Let it sear and get a nice colour and then we'll think about turning it. Okay, that's been frying for about a minute now. <clears throat> so I'm just going to flip it over. Again, you don't want to stir it up too much because you'll lose the heat in the wok and you won't get a nice sear on your chicken. You can see we've got a nice bit of colour there. As with everything, no colour, no flavour. So we're going to cook this again for about another minute and then we'll turn it. There we go, that's a minute on that side. We'll just give it another stir up. And then what we're going to do is just take that out. If you don't want to overcook it, you've already tenderised it. We've got a little bit of bicarb, 
you're going to be surprised how much difference that makes. So you don't want to boil it too much and take, make it tough. So here we go now with the rest of the chicken. And we're going to do the same. We're going to let it sit for about a minute on one side. Then we're going to turn it and cook it for about a minute on the other. Okay, that's been a minute one side, so again, flippy, flippy, minute the other side, and then we're good to move on. Okay, we're ready to move on now, so we'll just get this chicken out, and then we we'll start finishing off. All those vegetables we, we did, we're going to serve, not raw, but not cooked, you don't want soft, you want crunchy. So... Into that oil, we get our veggies. And first of all, we'll just put in the bottom parts of the onion, the spring onion. Just those on their own for the moment. Along, along with when I find it, the garlic and ginger paste. And we're just going to let that soften and cook out ever so slightly before we put the others in. Otherwise you'll have a nasty sort of bitter flavour in your, your sauce. I've turned the heat right down obviously because you don't want to burn everything. So I'm going to give it a little bit more heat now. I'm going to go in with the celery, the water chestnuts, the carrots and the peppers. And we just Turn the heat up slightly. But then we're not softening them, we're just getting the cold out of them if you like. So we're going to find now we're going to grab our sauce. Give it a wee mix up again with the whisk because it does settle. And throw that in. Now as that comes to the boil, that's going to thicken up into a nice sumptuous Chinese style sauce. I know it doesn't look it yet, but believe me it will. So it's going to take about a minute or so just to come to the boil. Right, as it's coming to the boil, you can see around the edges, it's starting to change colour and go in a nice sort of dark, silky colour. starting to thicken up. Just give it a little stirring. You can see it changing in front of your eyes. Now, bearing in mind that was custard we put in there, really. But um, believe me, it's, it's so good at this. And you're going to be so surprised at the result you've got. Simple few flavours. You can see it all starting to come together now. It's starting to clear. Now, I'm going to add the chicken back into it at this point. We don't want to boil it madly, but we do want to just let that sauce thicken up and let the flavour of the marinated chicken get into the sauce. Can you see how shiny and nice that's getting now? Beautiful. So, finally we're going to go in with our cashew nuts and the tops of our spring onions. I'm going to turn off the heat. That's done its job, and I'm just going to stir that through. We'll wait about a minute just to let the flavours all mix up. So I don't know if you can see that, how shiny and beautiful that is. It's very tasty. If you want to put different veggies in, by all means, stick anything you like in. Just remember, you want it to still have a bit of crunch at the end. So don't go putting peas in there or something gooey. Um, if you don't want to put chilli in, don't put it in. So one last thing before we serve, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sesame oil. Now this isn't adding oil for oil's sake, it's adding flavour, it's like a season. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but it's beautiful, glossy, shiny, crunchy, lovely. I'm just going to dish this up with a bit of the rice and then take a photograph and uh, put it up. Now, really, do give it a go. I know it sounds weird with the custard. 
give it a go. It's really good.